Hey y'all, so my newest crazy project is I am attempting to make um, I'm attempting to make a case that turns your uh, smartphone into an action camera. And uh, you've probably seen a lot of the um, you've probably seen a lot of the cameras out, or a lot of the cases out there already that will do that. They're pretty expensive. You know, they run anywhere from 80, um, 80 to 100 and bucks, even more than that. So what I've done. I basically took uh, polycarbonate sheets, um, and I actually uh, polycarbonate will melt at 311 degrees uh, per the manufacturer's specs on this particular kind. And what you do is you just put it in the oven. And I used a wooden mold of my phone. Let me see if I can dig it up here. Let's see, uh, stuff going on here. Let's see if I put it out here. There we go. my camera to adjust. So here's a wooden mold I made of my phone. It's the exact spec and it's the exact uh, width of it. It's on an iPhone. I'm actually filming on a, an S2 which is the same thing that I've designed this for. So it's very close. And then what you do is um, you take this piece and you put it there. You put your polycarbonate sheet on top of it. So let's say that this piece is too big. I'll put it. So here's your polycarbonate. You take the you want to take the plastic off both sides first, obviously. So it's just the plain polycarbonate, no protective sheeting. You stick it on top, and then this is designed just a little bit bigger than the mold underneath of it. And you set this on top of here, like that, with weights on it. And what it'll do is it'll bend, and it's designed so that as the plastic melts, it won't cut the plastic off, because you can see there's enough space all the way around that um, it'll allow it to bend and form uh, a nice a nice mold. So then so then you get something like this, which I've polished up quite a bit. And you can see there's bubbles in it. And the reason is because it got too hot, because I wasn't patient. And I melted it in about 40 minutes instead of the normal like three hours. So um, that's fine. It's going to be painted anyway. But uh, so then my phone fits right in there. Yep, it's perfect. So it's pretty good, actually. Here I'll uh, I'll do the re let's see. Actually, I won't be able to do it on this video, but I'll show you guys a video of it all put together. But anyway, so then that goes on like that, and then I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do this guy. It's, I'm gonna do a case on it, and uh, let's see. Actually, goes the other way. There we go. So then this will be a case, and what I'll do is um, so we get to focus. These S2s aren't very good with focus. There we go. On this side, I'll actually do a bolt that goes through it, and it's tightened permanently. I'll use thread lock, you know, to make it so it's all tight. And on this side, there'll be a notch cut out of this one, and then a stud inserted in the back, which I'll uh, I'll actually end up melting it into the polycarbonate. And then this will just slide open. It'll come all open. You can slip your phone in, and then it'll slide closed. And then there'll be just some padding. I'll probably use some weather stripping from Home Depot to make it so the phone is padded while it's in there. And then I'll cut out a centerpiece here, and that'll make it so that you can use the screen. And then on the back side, um, on the right hand side of the screen, uh, I'll put the hole for the camera so you can actually film. And then this will be mounted using a bottom nut, which I'll actually melt into the polycarbonate, um, which will allow me to adapt it to a tripod mount. And then I'll be using, I'll be using this guy right here for that. So. Yep. So it should be pretty cool. I'll keep you guys posted. Make another video shortly once I have more put together.